drug overdose cases are at record levels. Many deaths are connected to fentanyl. President Joe Biden wants to permanently include fentanyl and all of its variations in the highest classification of drugs. Tonight, WFMY News 2's Avery Powell met a family dealing with the devastation of addiction and got their advice for others struggling. Guilford County health officials say opioid overdoses and deaths are up this year. Now, two sisters are facing that fact head on after their mother died from an overdose last week. They spoke with me today in the hopes that others won't go through the pain they faced. I went to the grocery store and I came home and she was unconscious. Angel Goodell says her mind raced as she found her mother in the grips of an opioid overdose. You can only imagine the thoughts. You know, if I had came home 20 minutes earlier, would she, would she still be here today? Paramedics used the opioid reversal drug naloxone, but their mother was put on a respirator until November 24th. Christy Cadell died that day. She was 41. Just because they're an addict doesn't mean they're nobody. They're somebody. They're a human being. They have feelings. They have a heart. The Guilford County Health Department says anyone can face addiction. It could be someone in your family who is having an issue with um, opioid misuse. It could be, could be your neighbor. Officials say fentanyl laced with other drugs is only making the problem worse. Everyone has heard about fentanyl and that kind of thing. The issue is you don't know how much fentanyl, you know, what, what kind of fentanyl is it? If you know someone struggling with addiction, the Cadells say don't push them away. Listen and extend a helping hand. And it could be the one day, you know, just like my mom, it took one day, one last use, and now we don't have her anymore. Resources are available in Guilford County. Guilford County Solution to the Opioid Problem, or G-STOP for short, offers, offers resources, free supplies, and also naloxone to the community. It has clinics across the county open four days a week. If you have any questions, you can reach out to GC-STOP by calling or texting the number you see right there on the bottom of your screen.